Hi, I'm Darren, and I'm the CEO and owner of D&D's Diet Bottled Water Company. Did you know that between 50 and 65% of our bodies are made from water? And that's why I'm here, to make sure that you're putting the right water into your body. You've heard of our diet water, so why not try our diet flavoured water? Our scientists have been hard at work, and with the right chemical balance, we have managed to cram in all of our sugar-free, gluten-free and fat-free healthy recipe into the same bottle, but with more flavour. Order your first bottle for free today with our new home delivery service. D&D's Diet Bottled Water Company, putting the D in diet water. D&D's Diet Bottled Water Company is not responsible for any injuries under the consumption of our water. Only available in the United Kingdom. Terms and conditions apply. Now can be purchased in bulk. All right, everyone, let's get back to work. Oh, and you're all getting a new crate of flavored water delivered to you, courtesy of Derek's bank account. Let's go sell some water! <laughs> Derek, my office. Now, Derek. <laughs> Here's the thing, little bro. I don't know if you're aware of it, but I'm aware that your sales went down by 15% last month. If your percentage keeps declining, I'm gonna have no other choice but to buy you out of this company. Buy me out? But we founded this company together. I used to be like you, Derek. Sad, lonely, overweight. But I got my life in order. Got married, had kids. I practically run this show. It's me that's the face of this company. What do you do, Derek? You're gonna just keep munching on that sandwich? You do know that's 800 calories, don't you? What's I got to do with the business? Mum always said that I was her favorite. I'm sure she would have no problem with me letting you go if she was here. Get out of my office, Derek, before I change my mind in keeping you. Oh, and Derek, you can take your sandwich with you, mate. Told me he was thinking of firing me. That I'm a disappointment to my dead mum, and that uh, I'm overweight. Same old dickhead, Darren. Then. Yeah, pretty much. Speaking of which, are you still down for that party tonight? Uh, without your dickhead brother, Dave's bought some things we can put up, and if you want, I can send you a time when we can start setting up. Yeah, of course. See you then.
Are you sure he's not going to find out about the party? Yeah, don't worry. David said he's at his mum's all weekend, alright? Okay, we'll be back on Monday. I've left you £20. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. Have a lovely time. Are you sure you can't come with to my mum's? I told you, baby. I have to stay at the office this week. It's a big week for the company. Okay, I love you. I love you too. See you in a few days. Bye. Dave. Derek. How are you doing? Where's Norton? He'll be back. He'll be back. He's always back sometimes. my guts up in the bathroom downstairs. When I get back up, what say we take this party back to Pimpy Close? Oh mate, I think I've really fucked up. You need to get down to the warehouse ASAP. Where are the bottles? Norton, what's going on? Derek, where are the bottles? They went out for delivery yesterday. Oh, shit. Shit. What the fuck is going on? I fucked up, man. I really fucked up. How? Well, you know everybody's getting water sent to their houses. Yeah. Well, I know Darren's been giving you a hard time lately, so I may have put a few drops at LSD. Uh, hang on. You put drugs in my water? Well, that's not all of it. I thought you lived in Pimpford Close. Which means? Which means it's gone to Darren. Shit. you got to help me, man. Really, please. Fine, I'll get an Uber. Man, I've covered you before, but this is something else. Hey, I get caustic, you know.
Move a bit close, please, mate. So, this is what I'm thinking. I went over Darren's house last year, and the dickhead locked himself out. I found that the front window was dodgy, so you could wedge it open. So, if we found a pen or something, we should be able to wedge it open no problem. We get in, we get the bottles, we get out. Sounds good? Yeah, sounds good. So, I using a bottle opener. Used to work for me. I do have a bottle opener. Yeah, back in the day, we used to rob the rich. Their plates alone used to fetch a few hundred quid. Oh. Okay, let's go. Come on, Norton. We haven't got time for this. I told you I was getting car sick. There. The bottles. Yeah, they're on the table there. Now what? Well, we need to get in there and get them out. Okay. What are you doing? There's no time for that. What are you doing? That's my secret. We haven't got time. We need to get the boss out before Darren gets them. That was my cigarette, Derek. That was my last cigarette. I don't care. We need to get the bottles out now. Okay, go on then. <sighs> Ah! Doesn't he have a wife and kids? Yeah, he does, Norton. He fucking does. What a strange guy. Hey Darren, I've got that report you want. What are you doing in here? What do you mean? This is my office. How'd you manage to convince Darren on that one? Well, I told him if he fucks with me again, I'll tell Liz and the kids about the fairies having. Nice. Hi, Derek. How's it going? Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, as I said earlier, if there's anything else you need, then uh, just let us know, yeah? I will do. Cool. Cool, OK, I'll, I'll get going. Then. Close the door, yeah. Uh, you can leave the door open. All right, then. Uh, see you soon, bro, yeah? Cheers. Well then, what is the first order of business, Molly? Well, I was thinking we could get Dave to...